What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 28 of our Wolfpack Return to Primetime Dynasty. This is season 2. We are in our first game of the season against the Tennessee Volunteers in Tennessee. So uh, hopefully we can come out with a win. We are ranked number 15 in the nation starting off the season. So that's pretty exciting to be uh, in the high uh, to be in the 15, uh, top 15, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So on the first play of the game, we actually won the coin, co uh, coin toss, so we are going ahead and uh, defer into the second half. So first play of the game for Tennessee, uh, Hooper is going to hand the ball up the hall, and he will go up the middle and break a tackle for a first down. So uh, getting it done on the ground early, but after a negative one-yard loss, Hooper is going to hand the ball off. Oh, actually, he's going to drop back the pass. He's going to look over the middle and find Taylor for the first down again. So two first downs already in this game. So uh, on first and 10, Hooper is going to send a man, his tight end, in motion. and He will go ahead and run the option, and he will get stuffed behind the line. So it will be second and 16, but after a two-yard rush, by Hall, it will be third and thirteen. So defense is trying to look, making a stop. Going to go ahead and uh, look to make a stop. And uh, Hooper is going to drop back to pass. He's going to look downfield and find his man Taylor, who has nobody around him, and he will make the first down catch. And it will be inside the thirty yard line. So it's going to be first and ten for Hooper and this Tennessee offense. And he will hand the ball off. Actually, he'll fake the handoff to Hall and find Huff in the flat for a seven yard pickup so it will be second and three now for the volunteers and uh in the red zone and he's going to go ahead and hand off the Hall and Hall is going to go and almost break a tackle if he had broken that then I've been a touchdown so lucky for the NC State defense so it will be third and goal after a three yard rush and incomplete pass so third and goal uh for uh Hooper and Hooper will go ahead and drop back the pass and find Gardner in the end zone who makes an acrobatic catch. When we'll get another look at this, and uh, he throws behind his receiver, but his receiver makes an unnecessary dive into the end zone. So uh, kind of showboating there, but uh, so they go up seven nothing early in this game. So it will be first and ten for this Wolfpack offense, and Mangum, our new starting quarterback, will hand the ball to Chuck Griffith for a nice four yard gain. And so uh, Mangum again is going to call a hurry, uh, call. An audible at the line. He's going to look over the middle and find Lane for the first down. So first down play. And we're going to go ahead and run the, the no huddle offense. And Mangum's going to hand the ball off to Chuck Griffin. He's going to go up the middle and get a nice pickup and the first down. So uh, moving the ball effectively early against this uh, Tennessee defense. And so now Mangum is going to drop back to pass. Going to look deep to left-hand side and find his man Fleming. And Fleming has nobody near him. And he's going to get finally pushed out about the 30-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 after that nice strike to the corner. And uh, Mangum's going to hand the ball off to Chuck Griffin for a nice four-yard pickup. So second and six now for this offense. And Mangum's going to run the draw play with Griffin. And he will maybe get a yard. So it'll be third and five. And so uh, Mangum's going to draw back to pass. Is he going to look deep to left inside and try to find Wilkinson? But it bounces off his helmet. So we will have to settle for a field goal. And uh, Olin, Olsen Smith will go ahead and nail this one. For us, that was a nice uh, field goal by him. So seven to three, NC State is still down. But first play of the game, uh, first play on offense again for the Volunteers. And Hooper will find his man Hall in the flats, and Hall is down the sidelines, and he's finally pushed out of bounds about the forty-three yard line. So it'll be first and ten for this volunteer offense, and uh, Hooper is going to hand the ball off to Taylor on the end around and. Taylor is down the right-hand side. It's finally taken down by Contrell, but not before he got the first down. So first and 10 for the Volunteers. And uh, Hoover's going to hit the ball at the Hall, and Hall is nobody to the left-hand side. He's finally taken down, but not before he gets a nice nine-yard pickup. And uh, running the ball effectively against this defense is not not good for uh, NC State. So uh, um Hooper will hand the ball at the Hall and get another first down. So uh, another first down on third down, which is – Interesting, but uh, on the next play, Williams is going to jump over the right-hand side and get a nice smack on Hall as he picks up one yard. So Williams, Williams is getting it done on defense, but uh, on the next play, Hooper's going to hand the ball off to Hall, and Hall will get a pickup about eight on the play. So uh, next play from scrimmage, Hooper's going to drop back to pass. He's going to actually run the, uh, the pitch uh, option. He's going to pitch back. But uh, his man was taken out of bounds, so they'll settle for a field goal after a fourth and four. So uh, first and ten for Buck Mangum in this offense. And Mangum's going to look over the middle and find Lane for a nice 10-yard pickup. But they will give us second and inches and not first and ten. So second and inches, Mangum's going to hand the ball off to Chuck Griffin. And Chuck Griffin's going to go to the right-hand side. Actually bounce right back up in the middle and get a nice first down uh, right there. So 
first and 10 for Mangum in this offense. And uh, he's going to go ahead and send Brown in motion to see if we have man uh, defense uh, against us. And uh, we do. So uh, he's going to hand the ball off to Chuck Griffin. Chuck Griffin's going to get a nice pickup and uh, two left-hand side for a nice pickup about nine on the play. So uh, nine-yard rush. So second and one now for the offense. And uh, Mangum's going to hand the ball off to Chuck Griffin. He has nobody in front of him, and he gets a nice first down play. So first and 10 for this Wolfpack offense, and Mangum's going to drop back to pass. You look over the middle, it's going to be picked off by Morris, and Morris has the first turnover of the game uh, for either side. So, uh, uh, nice interception, but uh, after the interception, they do not move the ball. So it's going to be 3rd and 11 after the interception, and uh, Hooper's going to send his man in motion. He's going to drop back to pass, and he's going to look deep down the field, and he's going to miss his man, so it'll be 4th and 11, so they will have to put the ball away. So, after a 7-yard return by Mike Manning, uh, Wolf Packer and get the ball about the 36 yard line. So uh, first play, Mangum is going to drop back to pass, going to uh, stay back in the pocket, and there's nobody open, so he's going to have to scramble out to his right hand side. He's going to try to throw, and he's sacked for about a 12 yard loss. So it'll be second and 12, 22. Simmons, our second street quarterback, is going to come in, and uh, he's going to drop back to pass. He's going to look to the left hand side, and Fleming will drop the ball. So it'll be third and 22 now, and uh, Simmons is having to deal with the crowd noise. And he will drop back to pass. Simmons is going to look deep. Left hand side. Find Lane. And Lane has the first down. So third and 22 conversion is good. So first and 10. Simmons getting it done as backup. And he's going to go ahead and hand the ball to Chuck Griffin. Chuck Griffin's going to go right, right hand side. And get a nice pick of about 7 on the play. So second and 3 for the Wolfpack. And Simmons is going to audible out of that play. And he's going to drop back to pass after making his man run a curl route. He's going to look to his left and find the curl route man, Fleming, and he has the first down. So after a timeout uh, and a one-yard rush by Chuck Griffin, Fle uh, Simmons is going to drop back to pass. He's going to look to left inside. It's going to be batted away, almost interception. So it's going to be third and nine, uh, and Mangum is back into the game. Uh, 20 seconds left in the half. Mangum's going to drop back to pass. Going to look over the middle and find Brown. And Brown has the first down. Actually, they won't give it to him, but it's a 9 yard reception. So it's going to be fourth and inches. And Mangum is going to uh, hand the ball off to Chuck Griffin. Chuck Griffin's going to go up the middle for a first down. So it's going to be first and 10. No timeouts. Eight seconds left in the game after a, uh incomplete pass. And so Mangum's going to audible out of that play to four vertical. He's going to drop back to pass. Going to look. To the end zone and find Fleming for the touchdown. So they score as time expires in the first half. So we get the ball back. Second and nine after a one yard uh, one yard play on, uh, on the previous play. And uh, Mango is going to drive out the pass. Going to look deep down the field. It's going to be picked off by Weaver. The Tennessee defense getting it done. And he's going to make Chuck Griffin miss. And he's going to be finally brought down uh, out of bounds about the, uh, you know, about the 16 yard line so uh, third and two now defense trying to make a stop make force them to kick a field goal and uh we will go ahead and make get the stop on defense so they will kick the field goal so it's going to be first and 10 after the field goal uh down by three man was going to drive back to pass going to look over the middle and find brown and brown has a nice reception for about three yards and so it's going to be third and seven after an incomplete pass and he's going to hand the ball off to griffin and griffin's going to go right, right hand side it's going to be fourth and six going to run the hurry up and uh Mangum is going to call for a vertical, and uh, he will make a man co go on the curl route, and he will drop at the pass. He's going to find the curl route, man. Love, and Love will actually share the tackler, and uh, they were both stuck on the guy on the ground. So it's going to be first and 10, though, after that fourth and sixth pickup. And Mangum's going to hand the ball off on a nice draw play to Chuck Griffin, and Chuck Griffin will get a nice pickup of about five on the play. So second and five, Mangum's going to reverse to play and make Wilkinson move in motion to the left-hand side to give some extra blocking to Chuck Griffin. He's going to hand the ball to him. Chuck Griffin's going to go up to the left-hand side and get plowed and uh, will actually be hurt on that play. For, uh, actually, he won't be hurt, but he is really tired at this point, but he will pick up the first down. And so uh, he did get hurt on that play, the third and one play. So now it'll be first and 10, going to hand the ball to Koch, and Koch gets the first down. Koch is a spitfire, I tell you what. So after an incomplete pass, uh, Mangum is going to hand the ball off to Koch again, and Koch will go to the left hand side and get a nice pick of about three on the play. So it's going to be third and seven after calling a hurry up. And uh, Mangum is going to hand the ball off to Koch once again, running on third down. It's risky, but they pick up the first down. So third and seven once again after a three yard pickup and an incomplete pass. Mangum is going to hand the ball off to Koch once more and get a nice pickup and the first down. So two third and seven uh, conversions for Koch and this offense and Mangum. Mangum is going to go ahead and hand the ball off to him again on first and 10. He's going to get a nice pickup about five on the play. So Zachary Koch getting it done on the ground. So second and five, going to hand the ball off to Koch once more. 
and he will get the first down. So it's going to be first and goal, looking to hand the ball off on a draw play to Koch again, and Koch will go almost to the end zone, about second, uh, the two-yard line. So on the next play, second and goal, going to hand the ball to Koch, and Koch will get pushed into the end zone, touchdown, Wolfpack. What a play. We actually get another look at this, and uh, he gets thrown into the end zone. So a nice play. As we see, that drive took about four minutes on 19 plays, 83 yards. So uh, that was a nice drive to uh, take the lead with 4.07 left in the game. So it's going to be actually third and 11 now uh, after that touchdown. And uh, the Volunteers are in pretty good field position. But uh, Hooper's going to drive by the pass. He's going to look for the right-hand side and find Taylor. Taylor can't get plowed by Wilk uh, Williamson. And Williamson's going to cause a fumble. Cox will pick it up. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Wolfpack. And uh, Mangum's going to hand the ball off to Koch. And Koch will go up to the right-hand side. And he's going to break down the right-hand side. Down the sidelines, get killed out of bounds. That should have been a penalty. But uh, first and 10 now for this Wolfpack offense. And Koch is going to get the ball again on the ground. And he will go up the middle. And he will get hit. And he will fumble the ball. And Clark will pick it up. And uh, that, that fumble could be costly. So it's going to be second and 10 after a zero-yard rush by Darren Hall after the fumble. And uh, Hooper is going to... Call an audible uh, for one of his routes, and Hooper's going to drop back pass, and he's going to look deep down the right hand field, fi uh, side of the field and find Evans, and Evans shreds all the tackles, and Evans is down the field, and he's at the 10, and that will be a touchdown. They take the lead with 2.30 left in the game, so they will go up 20-17, to 17. and so now it is Mangum's job to get this team into position to kick a field goal. So after a five-yard rush, Mangum's going to drop back to pass, going to look over the middle and find w w Wilkinson, and Wilkinson will get the first down, and so... Uh, Nice for, uh, second and five play. And so now it's first and ten. Going to hand the ball to Koch. And Koch will go up the middle. Protecting that ball. And get a nice pick of about nine on the play. So second and one. Going to hand the ball off to Koch again. And Koch will scramble. And get a nice pickup and the first down again. So he is a beast on the ground. But uh, after a uh, zero-yard rush by Lucas. Lucas is going to get the ball again. And Lucas will be stopped after a five-yard gain. So it's going to be third and five. For the Wolf Pack, and uh, 49 seconds left in the game. They're going to make a man jump off sides, and that will give them a first down in prime position to score a touchdown or get a field goal to send this game into overtime. So it's going to be first and 10. Uh, so uh, this game should come down to the wire, and uh, like it did last time, and Mangum is going to hand the ball off to Koch, and Koch is going to go right-hand side, but gets stuffed behind the line. It's going to be third and 11. And uh, so uh, 24 seconds left in the game. Mangum is going to drop back to pass. He's going to look to his left in the flat and find Koch, who catches the ball. It'll be fourth and twelve, and so uh, we're gonna bring Olson Smith onto the field to uh, kick the tying field goal, and we're gonna let the clock run down about four seconds, and we're gonna go ahead and kick the ball, and uh, it's up and it is good. So we are going into overtime, and so uh, this game is coming down the wire, uh, like I said, and so uh, first and ten, first play of overtime for Tennessee. Hooper's going to run the play action. He's going to step up in the pocket. He's going to throw off his back foot. He's going to lob into the end zone. It's going to be caught by Hohen, or Cohen, sorry, and it's going to be touchdown for uh, Tennessee. And so after a one-yard rush, they're going to run the play action themselves. And Mangum's going to drop back the pass. It's going to be picked off by Sanders. And NC State will lose this game in overtime to... Tennessee and Mangum cannot believe that he just cost the game again on interception like he did the Connecticut game. So Tennessee takes this one at home in a nail biter, uh, 27 to 20 in OT. Uh, so number 15, NC State goes down on the season opener, but Stephen Hooper is your player of the game. Nine of 12, 199 yards and three touchdowns. So next time, guys, we will go uh, at home against ECU. Um, second. Uh, game of the year we are now number 23 in the nation we are 0 and 1 starting off with a loss so maybe we can come back and uh beat ecu to go 101 so see you guys next time thank you guys for watching and bye